Hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode covering ICAS with Alias. We got Jeff from Torquito. We had the Torquito in the water on this boat yesterday and it was epic. But guys, we haven't done a proper walkthrough of this setup right here. We got the Sholi. Is that how you say it? You yeah, it's a Sholi. Yep. Alright, so you know what? I'm tired. So I'm going to jump behind the camera and you're going to do the talking. Alright, let's go. What, what do you want to do? <laughs> hey folks, I'm excited about this boat. I've enjoyed being in it because the boat design of the Shoal, it really represents kayak fishing somewhat returning to its roots. This is a boat that paddles white water very well. And, and I think we've gone bigger, higher capacity, more primary stability. You know, kayak fishing has moved so hard towards boats that are Jeff, do you mind doing the talking from here? Because I'm capturing that guy talking. Yeah. Sorry. You know, kayak fishing has gone towards boats that are wider and, and just super primary stability. This boat does not have primary stability as much as secondary stability, meaning that you can really lean it and it's going to feel tippy, but then it'll stop partway into a lean. What that allows you to do is really white water kayak fishing you know your river fishermen are gonna love this boat if they know how to use the paddle you have to actually paddle a boat in but white we, water we are all about motors here who cares about paddles well i uh, just kidding that was a the joke. motor <laughs> will get you through the you know the areas where it's flat water but then the motor isn't going to help you with a brace with a sweep stroke, navigating all those that white water, you still need paddling skills. So I've set this one up to be a really great boat for fishing my home water, the Susquehanna River. Um, I like to use, this is a shorty Yak Attack park and pole, and I'll use that to go into shallow water, jam it down into that scupper hole. And that's one way to, to be really quick about keeping, you know, making me stopped. I'll tuck it into the paddle park and then just keep it right there. I put extra um, Yak Attack gear track here so that I can have, you know, the camera mount or I haven't done a depth finder on this one yet. Um, I added some of the gear track in other places. There's enough flat space where you can add gear track. This particular setup, I've done the uh, an anchor. So a tractable anchor set up. This is the uh, DeBomb anchor. It's about a six pounder. That's all you really need in in white, you know, anywhere near white water. You got to be careful where you drop an anchor. I always have my NRS co-pilot so that if I get in trouble with dropping that anchor in the wrong place, I can cut it. Um, it has the, the, the front hatch here. I actually have torpedo catalogs in there but on a regular day I, I keep you know water and lunch and you know a couple extra bags of soft plastic the um i think everyone's seen that this this front handle extends out into something that you can and i'll go ahead and do it you could just pull that yeah well like you drag it yeah so this allows you to drag this boat and really I do that a lot for those creative access points to be able to get into places where there is no ramp there is no formal access there is no roads yeah roads where <laughs> we're going we don't need roads we just drag our kayak so I put the um, the torpedo throttle mount you know it's just just a flush mount from uh, innovative sportsman I keep it right here nice and low so it's out of the way of my paddle stroke uh, got the kayak cushion on there as I move back I like to have the smaller black pack this is the 13 by 13 that um, I got a bunch of Yak Attack gear they take the the 3600 size box traveling light keeping you know just the stuff that you're gonna need allows you to be more agile in white water um, this is this is one of my three 13 by 13 black packs. I set this one up to be my small mouth box. Um, I keep the you know the the GoPro camera up here to capture all my adventures on the Little Stuff YouTube channel. 
Um, as we move back, I do have a video how I set up the Torquedo Ultralight on this. It takes you step by step how to do that installation of the Torquedo Ultralight. I get about 6.2 miles per hour out of this boat with this three horsepower electric outboard. I was happy that, that uh, Crescent gave us access to the inside of the hull to be able to, to put hardware up in there to get a good solid mounting of this particular motor on there. Um, 6.2 miles per hour is not one of the faster speeds that I've seen, but on a, in a river setting, I don't necessarily need speed as much as I need the agility. And this boat is very agile. It turns, Alex, you saw it. You understood without knowing what it was, the concept of edging, where you lean it on its side and it turns that much quicker. This is an agile boat. It's not a really super fast boat. It's fairly efficient for the length that it is, um, but couple it with the motor, yeah, you're going to unlock lots and, rip, lots and lots of river miles. So this one's mine, Crescent Kayaks Sholey with a Torquedo Ultralight 1103. So how big is this boat? Like, is it like 12 footer, 34 inches wide? I honestly have to look look up the specs, but I think it's I think it's around a 12 footer, something like that. Yeah. And well, anyways, you probably did a walkthrough of it, have you? Huh? On your channel, have you done a walkthrough? Yeah, I got a walkthrough on there, and I got the the full install. I think I I think the thumbnail on it says Susky Sholey. So I just did a walkthrough as we were getting ready to launch. I just it, so they could go check it out. But this is a cool boat. It's a paddling boat but you could do the best thing in the world, which is motorizing, man. Yep. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you got it. And how about the seat? How, what do you feel about the seat? This looks like a... It is, it is comfortable. It's got really good um, lumbar support, just in how they have it framed. It's, I, I, I don't know, man. I can't tell you that it's any kind of special thing other than they bent this frame the right way to have very nice lumbar support, and it is really comfortable. Yeah, it looks like the it has nice stretched support. it. It's, it's nice to look, come back up to me, have something lean into it here. It makes a difference having that lumbar support. They they were smart when they built this. They, they, they didn't just have this straight. The fact that this curves up, it's a little detail that matters a lot. That's right. And you also have the high sitting position, right? Yep. Right here. Yep. And I don't usually use it because I'm... Because uh, you're like seven feet tall. That's why. I'm having yeah, a hard time keeping you in frame and keeping the kayak in frame. This is this is right. crazy. I might have to get a bunch of B-roll from the video we did on the water to make this video work. <laughs> Cause, uh, dude, seriously, what, did you eat a lot of what when you were growing up? Drank a lot of milk. Milk? Yeah. Goat milk? <laughs> no, just regular milk. Man. <laughs> we don't milk goats. Well, but I mean, what do you think about? Well, you own it. Do you buy it or you got it? Huh? I love, I mean, it's my boat. I love it. So, it yeah, because you could have just thrown it away, right? So, yep. so it's a good boat. Cause it's a great boat. Yeah. It's a great drag in small water and and handle white water. That's it. Yeah, like, um, have you taken it through uh, the surf? I've not done a surf launch. If I'm going to do a surf launch, I got other boats for that. I'm not saying it wouldn't do well. I think it would. But, um, like, if you want to take this offshore with a torpedo, what do you think of that? I think it's a perfect boat to do that. I think it'd handle it fine. Yeah. But, I mean, you're but not it's a river boat, Alex. I mean, it's a... <laughs> it's a river boat. It's not a ocean fishing boat. Is that what you're saying for that? If you want I'm ocean, saying that. I'm not saying you get that? That's a great big water boat, the NAR. And I actually have a, a Take 2 as well. And that does great. I've had that out in Lake Erie and... Uh, seven footers so if you haven't seen that the uh the thumbnail is chuck earls who's a kayak fishing guide on lake erie and the thumbnail just says big waves and it's him at an angle like this i seen those reels in um instagram right yeah yeah that's a really nice boat jackson did a really good job with that one over there i did a video covering everything about not a video video series covering everything on that boat so well anyways i'm gonna put a, an affiliate link down below so you go could go check it out because whatever price we give you today is gonna be twice as much more in two years so i don't know about that yeah inflation man inflation is killing everything <laughs> Guess.